Welcome back. Now, soon after Vodafone has launched their 4G network across the country, they've decided to bring back their iconic plug, the Chica. And you really can't deny that this little guy is Vodafone's uh, most enduring, not to mention adorable, mascot. So he's back to uh, make another key announcement this time about the arrival of Vodafone Supernet 4G services. To talk to us about their strategy is Siddharth Banerjee, the national head uh, brand communication and insights for Vodafone India. Welcome to the show, Siddharth. Clearly, you've pulled out your strongest card this time. Tell us why it was so important for you to uh, do this, to bring back the Pug, and this after a span of five years. Vodafone Pug is one of our most loved brand icons that we have uh, in Vodafone's proud history of communication. And consumers across India uh, associate with the Pug and really, really love the Vodafone Pug. Uh, it's not only an icon for us in Vodafone, but indeed it's a big and much loved advertising icon across industries, across brands. And therefore, we thought that this was possibly the right time for us to evaluate bringing back the Pug. Okay, and how is your marketing mix looking like uh, for this uh, big campaign that you've launched? Uh, which medium is uh, going to take the lion's share of your ad spend? So, given the fact that the marketing task of the Pug is to announce uh, the fact that we have Vodafone Supernet 4G, uh, we want to do it in the most impactful manner and reach a large proportion of consumers across India. So the key media touch points, therefore, would be uh, television to begin with, a large part of digital. Uh, there's a huge amount of activity on the ground in terms of point of sale and retail touch points, and lots of activation that our consumers will see across the coming weeks. I remember when Chika last made an appearance uh, about four to five years ago, the digital revolution hadn't quite taken place. So now that it is here, and it's here in a big way, tell us how you're using the digital route to uh, build buzz around Chika's uh, return. I think if you look at uh, the way that we are using uh, the digital media, uh, we're doing it creatively, we're doing it interestingly, we've learned along the way from the time that last Chika was there. Um, I'll give you an example. We recently are running a campaign on Twitter, which is asking consumers, where do you think the pug and the boy will go next? Uh, will they go to a city? Will they go to a village? Will they go overseas? Will they go to a moon? And consumers have really loved the idea and we've got lots and lots of consumer engagement going. So that just a small example of what are all the creative options that open up uh, for us when we bring back right. Chika the pug and the boy. Of course, competition is rife in the 4G space, Siddharth. So uh, take a moment to walk us through uh, your Supernet uh, 4G and how it features uh, really stand out against the competition. So Vodafone Supernet 4G is essentially our way of announcing the fact that we have a superior network um, because we have invested a lot in terms of our network capabilities, whether it's cell phone towers or whether it's sites. Uh, and so therefore, we have a significantly enhanced network. We wanted to announce uh, this to our consumers uh, using uh, the name of Vodafone Supernet 4G, which implies the fact that it is a network which would give you uh, a bouquet of benefits which really, really make a positive impact in consumers' lives. All right, so will it automatically be extended to uh, all users of Vodafone? Uh, it isn't something you need to subscribe to separately? Absolutely. So we are talking about the network and therefore for people who are on, let's say, 3G, uh, they will experience the benefit of a significantly better network. So that's to begin with. For 4G, um, as you know, in order to get onto 4G, you need to physically change your SIM. And it's actually a very, very simple and a painless process. Um, so that's happening as we speak. Um, and therefore, to get onto 4G, changing your SIM and experiencing uh, the absolute delight uh, that you get with uh, a superior network. Right, so what's the largest strategy here in the rollout of uh, your 4G services? Will it be launched in phases across the country or are you going to stick to the metros initially? Vodafone, um, we believe that while we live in India, there are many Indias with consumers having different needs. And so therefore, we do believe that uh, 2G, 3G and 4G can coexist in the near future. And therefore, we are putting in investments, of course, in 4G, but we are also putting in investments in 3G. And that's the way that we want to take our enhanced network story forward. About three months ago, Siddharth, uh, Vodafone has also brought back the Zuzu. So it would seem you're playing on uh, nostalgia, really. Would that be a correct assessment? 
I think it is about really utilizing our much loved brand assets. It would be a shame if we don't figure out what our consumers are telling us. And I think that's the essence of good marketing. It's not so much about the past or the present or the future. It's really about understanding what consumers like, what consumers love, and how best can we offer them products and services using communication that both delights and surprises them. So if you look at all the stuff that we have done with Zuzus and Zoomies for our My Vodafone app campaign, that has delighted our consumers and driven downloads for us. If you look at what we have done with uh, Chica the Pug and the Boy, that surprised consumers in a very, very pleasant and delicious manner. And that's really you know, the marketing task at hand, that how do we really communicate our messaging, but do it in the Vodafone way, which is fun, simple, and delightful. But Siddharth, it would make one wonder if uh, all this bringing back of the best of Vodafone mascots is uh, perhaps to take on the mass appeal of the Airtel girl. I'm sure you've encountered this question because uh, Sasha Chetri, there has been a lot of chatter around her and your campaign uh, has been launched at around the same time as Airtel. So tell us uh, how that has played out in your choice of mascot and uh, the rollout of your 4G services. I think Vodafone Zuzus and uh, the Vodafone Pug have their own unique place in consumers' hearts. Uh, I don't want to compare it with anybody else, but uh, suffice to say that I'm very, very proud of uh, the work that has been done uh, for these icons of Vodafone, both the Zuzus as well as the Pug. And therefore, we will continue to use them strategically as and when the marketing task really needs us to.